Anyway, I'm Joe. G'day, I'm Bruno. We're Renovations Australia. Today I'm going to show you how to take your join, set your internal external angle, and fill your screw holes. Okay, tools needed in this project. You're going to need a hook. You're going to need three scrapers. You need a four inch, five inch, six inch scraper. You need a 200mm plastering trail and also a 300mm plastering trail. Now you're going to need your base coat, top coat. Uh, that's virtually everything we need uh, so we can virtually start the project straight away. Right, let's go. Let's go. Be aware of your environment. Carefully dispose of building products according to your local council regulations. Before proceeding with any building work, please contact your local council as council approval may be required. Don't forget, organise an electrician to disconnect any electrical wires and discuss further work which may be required. Always use new quality products for your building projects. Remember to always work your plaster on the hawk. This keeps it viable. Okay, this is the first stage. We're going to take the first join. Uh, this is called um, base coat. Now make sure there's two sorts. You can get a 45, which is called base coat 45, or base coat 60. You're better off getting the base coat 60. It gives you a little bit more time. What they're talking about is it gives you 60 minutes to work rather than 45 minutes. So especially if you've never done it before, it's going to be a lot easier for you to actually use. Okay, consistency. As you can see, it's not wet. It's not running off the board and it sort of just hangs off your trowel quite nicely. That's about the right consistency we've got here. What we're going to do first is actually put it into the actual joint. Now don't smear it everywhere. I'll show you as we go along. What we're trying to do at the moment is just fill that recess. As you can see, so we're going to keep on going along filling this recess. Now you don't want to leave too much product in there for the first time for your tape, so as you go through, put a little bit of pressure, and what we're going to do is drag that little bit off. Okay. So we're going to go through, fill the whole joint. Okay, we've got the product in there. Now what we can do, apply the tape. Joe, you go down that way with it. Hang over that. What we're doing, where your join is, you're applying your tape. And what we're doing, push it where the join is, and you're pushing it actually into their base coat. Get on along to the end. And what, just with nice even pressure, we're applying it into the actual base coat. All the way to the end. You can cut that off, John. Yes. Okay, now that's pushed in nice and firm. What we're going to do now, you grab a bit more plaster. And we'll just apply it over the top to fill the recess. Bed the tape in firmly with even pressure along join lines. This eliminates any air bubbles. Done. And that's how you tape a joint. Just another tip, make sure that your screw heads are just below the surface of the paper. Bruno tells me that filling nail holes is the easy part. Well guess what, he's right. Just simply a little bit of plaster, fill the hole and actually pull the excess off. Don't leave it proud. Simple as that.
allow for your product to dry before proceeding.